All right, I am making a fiberglass gas tank and making a pattern right here for the front, which is going to be a little compartment, a little airtight compartment for flotation. My pattern making leaves something to be desired, but it's getting there. All right, so there's the pattern. I'm going to make two pieces of fiberglass material that are the shape of the pattern, and I'm going to lay them up on this table. All right, waxing the table. This is my layup table. Mixing the resin. Doesn't that look lovely? Oh, yes. Here we go. Putting the resin on here. I use DDM9 as the catalyst in this. It's clear. So instead of looking red when I use the Cat11, this is clear so I don't mix the two together. I always know what I'm using as far as a catalyst. Flipping it over. Now the matte side is up. Here we go. Now what I'm do why I'm doing this on the table is I'm gonna have a really fine finished side when I peel this off the table. There's my second layer right there. Just kind of smoothing it out with the applicator before I put some resin on it. Here we go. So if you don't have a proper layup table, you can just take a floor or a piece of plywood, anything, and put a piece of visqueen over the top of it and use that. Now, will it come out as smooth as off my layup table? No. If you have a big sheet of glass, like an old uh, sliding glass door, perfect. So, all right, that went really quickly. I made the part, it came out, I peeled it off of the uh, table, and now I've already got it fared in and uh, attached to the, uh, to the boat. And that's a drain coming out of the bottom of it. All right, now I'm putting a piece of plastic, clear plastic, over the boat where I'm going to build the gas tank. And that way, when I lay the glass up on this plastic, it'll come right off. It comes off the plastic, and it won't stick to the boat because I'm making a removable gas tank out of fiberglass. Just kind of tucking everything in. So that forward bulkhead is glass to the boat. That is part of the boat. And that little tube coming out is a drain in case any water ever got in there. Now this is, I've already, I made this on the same layup table. This is the aft end of the gas tank. And I made it with a pattern, uh, just like I did the others with a, a cardboard pattern. And then I made a line all the way around the boat, and I set this thing right to that line, and I'm actually puttying it to the plastic so that it, 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 it'll it stay in place when I glass it. It's kind of messy, but you'll follow, you just keep following it. All right, now this is on the inside of the gas tank. I'm bonding that rear part of the gas tank to the side of the boat, but it's not to the side of the boat, it's to the plastic. You'll see as it keeps going. There you go. All of this is getting tied in there real good. 
so that that after part of the gas tank stays in place. All right, now I'm starting to build the actual lining of the gas tank. Now, eventually, this whole thing will get glassed together. Every, every bit of it will be, it'll make a good, clean container, fiberglass container. Just keeping adding material to it to make it strong so that it can withstand the pressure. But the beauty of doing this is that you have this thing completely formed to your boat so there's no flexing. Just finishing it out. Trying to make it as clean and neat and burr-free as possible. All right, so now I scribed a line on it to make the where the top of the tank is going to go. I've taken it out. See how it's nice and flat across the top? I'm just cleaning off the burrs because that plastic, you can see how the glass, the resin is not, um, it doesn't come off perfect. That plastic has got wrinkles in it. So I'm just, I've got it all trimmed. See how it not fits in there nice and neat? Now I'm cutting out the material to make the top. And we're going to do the same thing over the waxed, over the wax table. Table's been pre-waxed. I'm going to wet this all out. Notice the matte side is up. Putting, I'm putting in the uh, baffle in right now. In the bottom, I don't know whether this video is going to show it, but there's a there's holes through it so that the um gas can go from side to side. Yeah, see the holes in the bottom? I just took a hole saw and, and cut them in there before I glassed it in place. And that way gas can go from left to right. And it, it just makes a, uh, it just keeps the gas from splashing around too much. All right, I'm sanding this all off before we uh, put it together. We're going to put the, the top. All right, I'm making the pattern that that's the only aluminum that's going to be in the tank now i cut it in two inches from the outside ed edge of it i'm using a, a diamond cutoff saw on a uh, a side grinder it's just got a diamond edge on it and i'm just trimming this out yes sir tearing mat getting ready to this is all going to get glued down first. I'm just cutting the material, but we're going to glue it down with plexus. I'm just pre-cutting everything and getting it fit in place. Now I'm sanding this so we get a good bond. Everything needs to be sanded before you, you, before you put it together. I didn't have any plexus, so I made my own putty to do this. I would rather put this down with a plexus, which is a, a bonding agent. But if you see the way I'm radiusing this all in there, it's glued down and radiused. It is, there's no way this thing's ever going to leak. So it's glued down and then extra extra putties put around the edge to make a nice transition. I'm putting a layer of mat and then I'm going to put a layer of that finish cloth over the top of it. And this is making a beautiful perfect fit fiberglass fuel cell that will never corrode and have holes in it. It will just be fit perfectly right into the boat, which you're going to get to see here pretty soon. Now that end right there where I'm glassing, that's the vent side. And 
the middle is the fill and the other side where they where it's just a, a threaded opening that's where the pickup tube goes in and that's you don't put that pickup tube in there till you're putting the boat together now i'm i'm doing all the edges i'm putting i bonded it together and now i'm glassing it together Put a little fairing on there, fairing compound on the front side so it gets nice and smooth, sanding it down, prepping it to gel coat the whole thing. And it looks like I'm gel coating it. And the next thing you're going to see is it fit inside the boat and you're going to see what a perfect fit this is.